Hey, what's going on guys? So Geno's Best here, and last night Apple unveiled to the world the brand new Final Cut Pro X. Not the entire studio, but just Final Cut Pro X. And a lot of people are really waiting for this update, and you can tell by this screenshot, Apple has managed to combine the best UI elements and design elements of iMovie, plus kind of combine it with all the raw power of Final Cut Pro to make a really nice, sleek looking application. So let's go ahead and go over some of the features here. Now, it now fully supports 64 bits, so if you're going to be using Final Cut Pro on machines that have more than 4 gigs of RAM, it's going to be able to take advantage of those extra gigs. You can now edit 4K clips. If you don't want to know what those are, you do a YouTube search for 4K video. You can find some really nice looking video, way better than 1080p video. You're going to do that though on 8 core systems uh, as far as editing. And uh, now you can also probably the biggest feature of Final Cut Pro X and now it renders instantly in the background so anytime you make any changes or add any effects all that rendering is going to be happening in the background so you can still continue to edit your clips without having to wait and install for a long time it also have, now has a magnetic timeline so you're going to be moving around clips on your timeline it's going to be smartly placing itself so it's not going to be overlapping and merging into clips if you don't really want it to do that uh, now also has people detection so now Final Cut Pro X will be able to de determine how many people are in certain scenes and that can help you with your editing flow um, now it has instant color matching has smart collections so you can group together certain audio clips or certain stills that have a certain amount of people in them you can now use smart collections to group all those clips together and that also has automatic image stabilization and also a rolling shutter fix and all of these changes are happening while you're importing the video clip into Final Cut Pro X itself so for people who use DSLRs out there you know if you go side by side very fast or up and down you kind of have like a rolling shoulder uh, shutter effect that looks horrible uh, now iMovie I'm not iMovie I'm getting this confused but <laughs> but Final Cut Pro X would be able to uh, fix that problem while you're importing that uh, video clip in and also while you're importing the video clip in you'll you'll be able to go ahead and start editing whatever is already imported into Final Cut Pro X too so that's already going to speed up your editing process you don't have to wait for the entire clip you go ahead and start editing while things are importing in now those are just a real quick look at uh, some of the major features in the new Final Cut Pro X I'm gonna leave a link down below to a website that was covering a little bit more detail about the, the new Final Cut that's going to be coming out but the last remaining detail I'm gonna give you that it's going to be just two hundred and $99, which is a very good price point for something like this for this type of software. And it's going to be available in June in the Mac App Store for download. So, this is a really nice um, price point that Apple is able to get this. So, anyway, guys, leave a comment down below about what you think about this brand new Final Cut Pro X or anything that I may have left out in this video, guys. And thanks for watching, and I will catch you later. Peace.